What's the word, people? It's your boy, Jamin A9 Boy, here with Devil May Cry for a special edition. And so far, my first impressions on a Devil May Cry game from the original series, pretty good. I'm fucked up, homie, you fucked up. But if God got us, then we go be all right. Story. The story of Devil May Cry 4 is you start. It starts as a new protagonist, Nero, which is new to the Devil May Cry series, at least as far as I'm concerned, since I've been playing the later titles. But he's working for the Order and looking. He's hunting Dante after Dante assassinates a priest. But the story takes a little twist early in the story by like, you know, the priest not being dead, using Nero's friend Kyrie as bait and stuff for Nero, you know, and. All this stuff about Dante's brother's sword, you know, you know, you you had to play it to see. I don't want to spoil it too much, but the story it, it was pretty entertaining. This game, you know, it got me, it got me through from point A to point B. You know, I liked it. It, was, it, it kept me intrigued in it, and the story is good. <laughs> Nothing else to say about it. Gameplay. Devil May Cry 4 gives you about five different characters that you can play with through the story mode. Each of them has their own little different abilities and stuff, but you'll mainly spend most of your time in the story mode playing as Nero and Dante, which uh, you know, basically what the main story focuses around those two. But the gameplay is like Devil May Cry has this uh I noticed this since I played the reboot and it, it's actually the same thing in here like they have this really like cool combo system where like you basically whatever you think can work in a combo hell go ahead and do it and try to pull it off the the gameplay in the game you know was pretty cool I like the uh combat scenarios in this game I enjoyed fighting enemies and stuff some enemy types were a little annoying but and most of it it was pretty fun I liked the gameplay in this game they did a good job with like really giving like the hands of the combat to the players like I don't know why, but it's just something like so fluid about this combat system that I just think that Capcom did a good job on. That's just me though. Likes. I said the combat system, damn, but what else y'all want? Dislikes. There are these little puzzle or board game like puzzles in the game to me they're just absolutely retarded and I also hate the fact that the other characters that you get to play with you basically go through the same levels you do as the story mode just with the characters just a different opening scene I really wish they would have fleshed up on it also there's a lot of sections in this game where the camera is fixed and I don't know about y'all but I hate this camera granted there's a free camera sometimes but it's just ugh verdict for the final verdict, I really did enjoy Devil May Cry 4 a lot. Uh, this definitely got me more into the series than the reboot did, even though I did enjoy the reboot. I would definitely give this game a 9 out of 10. I, I recommend you guys pick this game up. Uh, I was gifted this for free, but uh, this game is $25 on Xbox and PlayStation 4 Store. I don't know if it's available on PC, but I do know it's available on consoles. I definitely recommend you pick up Devil May Cry 4 at a full price. Uh, I'm going to wrap this review up. I will see you guys tomorrow with the Division Beta. This has been your boy, Jamie A9 Boy. I'm out this bitch. Peace. Then we go be all right.